At the end of Luke's Gospel, we read the account of the, what we usually know as the road to Emmaus, where, where disciples have um, had the news, good news of the resurrection told to them by the women who were at the tomb, but disbelieve. And two of them head out towards Emmaus. They're walking together, sharing their concern and anxiety and bewilderment, and Jesus appears to them on the road and joins them in their walk, although they don't recognize him. Jesus unfolds the scripture and explains to them why these things needed to happen. At the end of the evening, when evening is drawing nigh, they invite Jesus to join them for dinner. And in the breaking of the bread, Jesus is revealed to them. This story for us symbolizes where we are as both partners in ministry together and in our churches. Together, we are walking side by side in a time when there's much anxiety. We know the good news of the gospel, but we're feeling some fear as we look at the future. Fears of many kinds, fears about decline, fears about the future of our churches. And into the midst of that fear, Christ appears to us, appears to us in each other, appears to us in the good news of the gospel, and reminds us that Christ is with us, alive, here now and calling us to live the gospel in new ways together. And we take delight in doing that as Anglican and Lutheran churches. Susan and I are enjoying our partnership as leaders of our churches, as those called to give hope and to stand together. And so we invite you to celebrate the good news of the gospel in Jesus Christ at this Easter time. Lift your head from anxiety. Know that Christ is with us as together we say, Christ is risen. Hallelujah.